Hi, I'm Crystal Anderson. I'm Kim Anderson. And this is Maker Size. Today we're doing a pretty cool project which is replicating something we did a few years ago for Maker Fair. We actually cast several of these kind of sculpture type things and we keep this one around just as decoration. So we wanted to replicate that, uh, do some more of the castings. It was a really fun project <laughs> and, and Maker Fair seemed to draw a lot of attention. It was a good way to do the demo in an interesting way uh, while we were out there all day. Um, and I had a lot of fun trying to explain to people that these weren't uh, anthill sculptures, but they were in fact polymer bead sculptures. So the first thing we want to start with is supplies. Crystal accent deco beads. You can find these in the floral department of your local craft store. We got our supplies for the acrylic box that we poured or cast it into from Lowe's. And then we hit up the hobby car car department, like hobby cars, hobby planes, whatever. Um, I got some of this plasta weld. They didn't have the appropriate application device. It's like a little syringe thing, and the ones they had apparently melt. Uh, so we got some glass eyedroppers and used those. They're not ideal, but they did seem to work. So to get ready for the project, we had to prep the polymer beads. And to do this, we had to get a pretty large, what size was it? Nine gallon. Nine gallon pot is what I like to call it. He kettle. likes to call it a kettle. We had to fill that up with water, add the beads, and let it set for about four hours. So it is the next day. This is what we have. They're so squishy, but I'm really excited. I would say maybe 10 inches might be the right, the right number. 10 by 10 by 12. <clears throat> we picked up some quarter inch plexiglass and cut it up on the bandsaw. Don't turn it off here. No, no, no. That, this is the piece you want. The piece that you want was against the Oh, oh, sorry. I did it. <laughs> We glued it together using the plasti weld. Plasti weld. Plasti weld. <laughs> <laughs> and then we used a silicone caulk to seal up the edges and make sure it was watertight. We did that because we were assuming we were gonna have to add some water to it as the polymer beads heat up. Because from our last experience at Maker Faire, the more you pour, the hotter the beads get, and they begin to a little bit malfunction, I guess, because they're yeah. getting so hot. To grade. To melt the metal, we used my portable lightweight foundry, and I'll put a link to it up in the cards, but basically uh, it is the foundry that I used back for Maker Faire to melt the stuff the first time around. If you're interested in how it was built or how to use it, take a look at the video that I've linked in the cards. It's really cool, it's made out of pots, too. It's made out of pots, yes, that's right. Yes, obsession with pots. Okay. I, I do. Next we went to the property and we got the box all set up, got the cameras all set up. Uh, we added the polymer bees to the box and started casting. Pretty cool again. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah, okay. You, you gotta, yeah, you gotta wait until it sets up. But yeah, go ahead. It feels At like point, I'm kind of missing it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'm going too fast. I feel like we might have poured a little too hot and then tried to pluck them out a little too quickly. So end up with some smaller ones that kind of break off because the aluminum hadn't quite fully set up. Yeah. So maybe next time pour a little colder and maybe wait a little longer to try to pull them out. I'd say we got about 50% of them as bigger, nicer ones. Uh, then we have, you know, a handful of smaller ones. But we'll probably we'll probably go through and try to make some more of these. I think they look really cool. They're I a think little they bit, look great. Some of them end up looking like um, 
Coral. Coral, which I think is really cool. And that's why, like, even with ours, we were able to kind of get this little decorative uh, vase kind of thing and just stick it down in there. We have people that we've given them to um, on little wood bases too. So if you have some extra wood laying around and you want to make it into a woodworking slash metal project, you can do that too. So if you think you would like one of these for your house as decor or to give away as a gift, please visit the Maker Size Shop. I hope this project inspires you to exercise your inner maker. Thanks for watching.